In this module, we will further explore the descriptive statistics command. We will look at the explore function there. Since in the last module, we, carry, we performed the descriptive analysis and we asked for the standardized variable for age and standardized variable of time. And as I mentioned, the standardized variables which were created have been saved into the data view of our data. Where this standardized variable is saved as Z age and Z time, which are Z score. As we studied in the standard normal probability distribution, that how do we calculate Z score? Where Z score will be age in years minus mean age of years divided by its standard deviation. That's how the z-score of age and z-score of time has been calculated. That and since we know z-scores can range from minus infinity to plus infinity, that's why we are able to see some negative values, some positive values, and it's very likely that there could be some value zero that is exactly at the mean of our data. The other important function that we want to learn is explore. Explore provide us a much broader range of analysis to be performed on our quantitative variables. In the dependent list, will put our quantitative variable. Whereas factor list is always going to be some categorical variable. When we know factor is a name that is often used to represent a qualitative variable or a categorical variable. In many softwares, wherever we, we call a variable to be a factor, we mean to say that a variable is a categorical variable with certain categories. So if we want to perform our analyses of age in the years according to the certain categories, let's say we want to see that how the age is distributed among different categories of the results, we'll bring it into the factor list. But right now, we'll perform the plain analysis just by keeping age and years. Since we know age is a quantitative variable, so for quantitative variable, we simply click on descriptive and it will perform some set of descriptive statistics and we don't have to check everything. In explore command, one can also use calculate M estimators or it can also help us identify the outliers in a data or the percentiles in our data. It also have a command for plots where it help us to calculate box plots, which is for factor level together or dependence together or none. In descriptive statistics, it can help us to, to create stem and leaf plot. For quantitative variable, we can draw histogram. And one other important aspect is the normality plots with test. Once we check this option of normality plots with test, it will perform various statistical tests as well as it will help us to draw all those descriptive statistics that help us to define if the distribution of our quantitative random variable is the normal probability distribution or not. You simply click continue. So we have already clicked on statistics. We already have certain plots that we want to draw. If we, if we want to draw both, we click on display both. If, if we only want to see descriptive stats, we simply click on statistics and it will uncheck the plots and it will only perform the statistics command. And for the plots, it will only give us the plots but none of the statistics. But when you click both, it's gonna give us all the answers all the descriptive statistics, as well as the stem and leaf plot, histogram, and normality plots with test, and all that we have checked already. You simply press OK. It will give you a huge output right away. 
Right now, the first output is going to be the case processing summary. Then it will be the descriptive statistics. In case processing summary, it shows us that there are 43 valid observations, which, are, which makes it 100%. None of them is missing, which makes it 0.0%. And there are total 43 observations in our data. In descriptive statistics, without checking anything for any quantitative variable, it's always going to give us the mean along with its standard deviation. It's 95% confidence intervals. It's 5% trimmed mean. This 5% trimmed mean means that the top 2.5% of the data and bottom 2.5% of the data will be trimmed, will be chopped off, because it's very likely that if in our data there are extreme observations, then instead of calculating mean, we calculate trimmed mean, which help us to reduce the impact of the extreme values in the data. And it will trim from the both sides of the data, 2.5 from the top side and 2.5 for, for the bottom values. So trimmed mean is 51.14, median is 52 for age, Variance, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, range, interquartile range, skewness along with its standard deviation, coefficient of kurtosis along with its standard deviation. It also help, provides us the test of normality where it performs Kolmogorov grove smirnov test and Shapiro-Wilkes test. Then it provides us a histogram where it shows the data is negatively skewed with tail to the left the stem and leaf plot, the quantile quantile plot, the detrended normal quantile quantile plot of age, and then a box plot. In the box plot, we are given the whiskers. This value is the Q1. The top of this box is Q3, and this central line is Q2. Here in this data, Q2 is closer to Q3, which indicates that data is negatively skewed in our, for the age. Thank you.